This video here is not to be meant about history. This is just pure documentation of graffiti on the wall in Los Angeles that many of you have been asking me to post. So here go some pictures with a little bit of commentary and some pictures from Stanley Tookie Williams funeral in December 2005. Harpies are located in the West Adams area and they share turf with the Rolling 20 neighborhood bloods. Often referred to as Harpy Thresse, right here you see body of Harpies dead in. I'm not going to speculate what the BK is, but you can see them whack out 38th Street, F13, and Barrio Mojados. The Fruit Town Brims are located on the west side of South Los Angeles. I took this picture just north of the University of Southern California campus in the 30s. Rarely will you hear a lot about blood alliances, but right here you see West Side VN and Fruit Town Brims. The East Side Playboys are another SA gang located on the east side of South Los Angeles, located in the 40s and the 50s, between Grand Avenue and Central Avenue, and between Vernon and Slauson. I took this flick in a neighboring community located on 54th and Van Ness on the morning of Tookie's funeral, on my way to Tookie's funeral to pay my respects to a West Side original crib. About 30 blocks to the south, toward Manchester and St. Andrews, where I took this flick, you see all side a Trey Gangster Crip, right across from St. Andrews Park. Family Swan Blood Gang, Crip Killer, 89th Streets. Uh, you see them whacking out AGC, East Coast, and Crip right here. On the west side, off of Western, the west side rolling 90s, you see them dissing Inglewood family right here. And of course, right here, you see Roller 90 Crip whacking out 9-9, A-Tray, Hoover Criminal Gang, Blood Killers. Compton Avenue Crip, 95th Street, are located in South Los Angeles on the east side in the Watts District, and they beef with East Coast. Not to be confused with the West Side 99 Mafias, the East Side 99th Street Watts Mafia Crip Gang right here. I believe they're dissing Hat Gang. East Side, Watts, Mafia, Crips. During this particular time, you see them whacking out Hat Gang, Bebop Watts, KMT, Watts Baby Lokes, and Grape Street. South of Century Boulevard, you see the IVCs whacking out Center Park, CMG, and Weirdo Gangsters. And then you see the Weirdo Gangster Bloods come back and whack out IVC and also whack out 18th Street. Southeast of Inglewood, you see the West Side bumped in Pyrus marking their territory. And then you see the West Side Pyrus CK. Now this morning was interesting because you see all these police, how they just take over our neighborhood. They have to protect us from us. And then this is the most striking part. I've been talking about this for a good part of 20 something years now. White people can come in our neighborhood and don't have to worry about anything. Like a white dude can have cameras, microphones, tape recorders. He can bring the whole world up in there with no pistol, no pocket knife, no sword, no nothing, and go unscathed. But a black man, don't stand a chance with another black man. Here's another classic that's interesting. The beginning, 1969, it was a story to be told. And you see some triple OGs, Raymond Washington, Mad Dog, Mac Thomas, Ricky Silas, Big Wolf, Tookie, Big Jackie Boy. The list goes on and on, man. We lost a lot of good brothers to this gang banging stuff and the bad health living in poverty, in bad conditions. We got to do better, fellas. It was a joy and a pleasure to get another classic flick of Pee Wee, Warlock, Monkey Man, rest in peace, Melvin Hardy, rest in peace, and two other brothers whose names escaped me at this present moment. They stood out in the street and took pictures like celebrities, celebrity crips.
Rest in peace, Melvin Hardy. Inside the funeral, you had Snoop Dogg on stage right here on this picture. You got a few dumb moves up in there, man. Got a few dumb moves up in there. And here you go with Bloodhound. Bloodhound from 20s. A lot of people asked me about Bloodhound. Asked about him being deported and if I could interview him. He was there. Here go another guy you guys asked about a lot. Kiki Loco from Harlem Crip. That's my dude right there. Famously known for the True Blue Tapes. So that's it. Just a test run before I get to some of the other years and the other pictures that I got. Got a lot more pictures. Some some years more than others. Some hoods more than others. But be looking forward to more from KM Video Live Streams. It's your boy Kev Matt. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click the like button and leave a comment, please. I really appreciate it. Thank you.